So I always say this to be sensitive to those of you who are right on time six minutes ago. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm sure all of you will get the recording. So those who are going to join later will also be able to see what they missed. Thank you once again for being here today to our first ever pre-enrollment webinar for 2022. A very happy new year to each one of you. So much um, of uncertainty we know around us, but so much to look forward to and such a great and exciting year ahead for each one of us. So I wish you all the very best. Um, I hope you're staying safe and healthy and looking forward to starting this new journey with BSBI. So uh, we have a lot of different webinars and a lot of different events that we have scheduled for this year. It's going to be a super exciting year. We want to be connected with you as much as possible and you will be hearing about these in the near future. Uh, but thank you once again for being here and I'm hoping that all of these events and webinars that we're having for you will make your journey easier to get um, to BSBI and a lot smoother than what you're expecting it to be. I know a lot of you are overwhelmed um, maybe with this decision that you need to be taking, but we're here to tell you that we're here to support you. Uh, I'm happy to take any questions that you may have at the end, so don't worry. We're going to keep some question time. But today what we're going to be doing is exploring a few things that we're going to be talking about over this uh, next couple of months. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen really quickly and I hope that you all will be able to see it. Uh, let's see. Can you see my screen? Can you see my presentation? If my wonderful person who's helping me at the back can see it, please let me know if you can, and then I will go ahead. Okay, great. Apparently you can see my screen, so I'm going to just go into full mode. Um, great, okay. So what we're gonna be talking about today is exploring the reasons for joining the PSBI community. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to introduce myself. Some of you might have seen me before, uh, but if you haven't, my name is Sangeeta George. I come from the career counseling space, so I've been a career counselor for more than 15 years now, helping students go to universities around the world. So I'm pretty familiar with how universities work and what you as a student need to look at when you are choosing a university that uh, or a college that is the right fit for you. Right now, I am the senior manager for student support and I'm gonna be telling you a little bit more about what my department does in the next few minutes. Just to quickly go through the agenda. So we're gonna be talking about a lot of these in detail in upcoming webinars, but today I just wanted to wrap it all up for you. I know some of you have already decided that you're joining us. But some of you are sitting on the fence thinking, should I, should I not? And I really just want to highlight some of the benefits of joining the BSBI community and really get you excited to join either our Feb intake or our May intake. But I really, really hope that you'll be joining us as soon as possible. So we're gonna talk about the different reasons for joining BSBI. I wanna really touch upon the multicultural opportunities that we have in studying with BSBI, the support that we provide before that you join BSBI and also once you get onto campus and what you need to do as a student right now because I don't want it to be overwhelming for you. I want it to be step-by-step -step a process that is easy for you to follow so that you know when you finally get to BSBI that it was such an amazing experience to actually get there finally. And then we'll just wrap it all up. I'll highlight some key takeaways and then we'll go into question and answers. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing right now.
So just really quickly to go through um, the highlights or the benefits of joining BSBI. You know, when I used to help students with going to university, one of the biggest things that I used to tell them is look at the location, right? Especially when you're going to a new country, to a new city, you want to be sure that you are in a location that is central, that everything that you need is in and around where you're going to be studying. And that's where BSBI is, is in the heart of Berlin, which is amazing, which is an amazing opportunity for you not to have that experience of studying at BSBI, but also taking in the culture of Germany. Second, excellent student support. So whether it's about your academics, whether um, it is about being in a small size classroom, whether it's about your tuition fees, whether it's about getting the opportunity to meet with industry experts or listen to guest speaker presentations, the student support is tremendous on campus and I'm gonna be talking about that later also. Flexible timetable, a lot of you, admit it, uh, whether you like it or not, is going because you want to be able to work in Germany or in Berlin after you study, correct? What BSBI does, it gives you a timetable that's flexible where you need to go in maybe for classes when we start on campus, that is, for just maybe two or three times a week and the rest of the time you're able to go find a job, work, add work experience to your CV because that's important to us too, that we help you in order to do that. There's a lot of uh, free executive education courses. So BSBI has partnered with LSBF, which offers one week long certification courses or executive courses that really will enhance your CV, build your CV a little bit more. Career services, fantastic. Again, another thing that you need to be looking at as a student when you are choosing a university, how rigorous or how active is their career service? And I will be talking about that in a little bit. We do everything that we can in order to help you find jobs while you are a student and even after you graduate. Lots of online resources. So what BSBI has done is that it's integrated the virtual learning environment, especially now, as you can imagine, because a lot of students are doing their courses on campus and it's in the heart of the teaching and all the e-learning programs. So it's a fantastic opportunity for you to learn some of those skills. And finally, the opportunity for post-study work visa, right? This is why a lot of you are going there and it's so fantastic that you can do that. So what you can do is extend your residence permit for up to 18 months to work in Germany. And one more thing I wanna highlight, which suddenly came to me is free German classes. Because when you start to start work in Germany, what you will need is the language. And we offer those free classes while you are a student at BSBI. So for those of you who are thinking about it, these are fantastic opportunities that maybe you might not get in other places. And I'm happy to take some questions if you have around this or talk about more benefits. Happy to discuss that with you. I really quickly just want to touch upon the the international or the multicultural uh, experience or opportunities that we're giving our students. And we started this recently. We have students now who are taking on that option of maybe doing one year somewhere else before joining BSBI, right? This is a new international experience that we're offering you. And the two cities, fantastic cities, if you've heard about this before, are Paris and Athens, all right? So we will support you, don't worry, as you go to, if you were deciding to go to Berlin, the similar kind of support is given to you for you to go to Paris or to Athens. And I really quickly just wanna talk about these two cities and what an exposure you would have as an international student. Imagine, so I know that employers, when they look at your CV, they want to know that you've had as much as a diverse experience as possible through your education. So a lot of universities will offer you that you can go away, do one semester somewhere and then come back. But what we're telling you is so that you don't have any gaps in your CV is that you go ahead and think about starting in one of these campuses, provided they're they are offering you the program that you want. And then once you finish your one year, 
then you can move to Berlin and we will help you with that transition. There are also master's students who can finish in Paris or Athens and then move on to Berlin in order to start their post-study work visa and then start working. Fantastic, right? So the first place that I want to talk about is Paris. Everyone knows it's supposed to be the most romantic city in the world. So I've heard um, it's an extremely diverse population. 23% of the population has migrated there after they were born somewhere else, right? Lots to see, lots of beautiful restaurants, lots of coffee shops. There's the Le Louvre. Everyone knows the Eiffel Tower. So it's very culturally rich. And the campus that you will be studying on, again, very centrally located in the heart of Paris. Athens, again, everyone knows lots of history, lots of architecture, lots of sites that you can go and see and experience and understand and learn. Widen your horizons as a student. And I think it's a tremendous opportunity that BSBI is giving you in order to do this. Um, there are multiple benefits of doing these programs in Paris or Athens, and I quickly just want to run through those with you. First of all, you know that the cost of living as compared to Berlin is much, much lesser if you start in one of these cities, right? With regards to um, your food and your travel, your accommodation, much, much lesser. Cultural exchange, right? A chance to study in two different countries. Can you imagine? 15, 20 years from now, telling people that you actually studied in one of these cities and then went to Berlin, finished up there, graduated there, and then started to work in Berlin or wherever you want in Germany, right? So um, definitely cultural exchange is important. Um, it's an opportunity for you to explore Europe. This is a great way in order for you to do that. We are making that a learning experience for you. We're giving it to you and giving you that opportunity. Um, and also, I think for those of you who are finding it challenging right now, I know a lot of because of uh, the COVID situation around the world, a lot of embassies are not open. It's tough for you sometimes to get to Berlin, a little bit challenging. So why not try to get to one of these cities first? And then, you know, in time, we will help you through that process of moving to Berlin. So what I would suggest and what I would recommend is get in touch with your program consultant. If you're already, I'm sure all of you have had a conversation with your program consultant or your program specialist. A lot of you might also have a student support officer right, who's helping you uh, collecting your documents and different things like that. Talk to them about if you are deciding to go to any of these. I also want to highlight another location in Germany, which is Hamburg. And Hamburg is offering a few courses from the University of Creative Arts. Now, the nice thing or what I want to highlight about going to Hamburg, first of all, beautiful campus. I actually had a virtual walk around. I was able to see what the campus looks like. It's beautiful. Um, really, really set up for those of you who are creative thinkers uh, to enhance, to better the kind of ideas that you might have. So we have some bachelor's programs in animation, in graphic de design and illustration. In May, we will be offering a master's program too. But for February and for October, the bachelor's programs that we have, every student that applies to Hamburg, here's what I want you to listen. If you're thinking, if you have a creative streak, you're looking at a program from the University of Creative Arts, you get a 45% discount straight, right? That is eligible for everyone who applies to Hamburg. Now, you know also if you're looking for a program in the arts, that it is recommended that you provide a portfolio. Now, what we have is with the students who are providing their portfolios for, say, for the Feb intake, out of all of those, the best portfolio, one student gets a 100% scholarship, which I think is fantastic. And 10 students get a 50%. So it's not 45 plus 50, no. If you get, if your, if your portfolio is eligible, then you will get a 50% instead of a 45%. Again, 
I know maybe too much information for you right now, but talk to your program consultant if you are thinking of any of the programs from UCA. If there is a program that is good, is good for you and a good fit for you, please do consider the Hamburg campus for sure. So Paris, Athens, and Hamburg, all right, which I definitely, definitely want you to consider and understand a little bit more. Now, I just want to talk about the kind of support that you get before you join BSBI. One of the things that I have realized about BSBI and really that I find amazing is that compared to a lot of universities around the world, the biggest universities around the world, right? Once you get admission and you're in the university, they will start to support you once you get onto their campus. But what's different about BSBI is they start to support you before you even get onto campus. And I think that is so amazing because there's so many things that you might not be aware of or know how to go about or know where to go. But you, each of you have a student support officer who I'm very proud of because they're all part of my team. And they are there to support you through the different things that you see on the screen right now. So first of all, assistance with issuance of your enrollment letter. Of course, there are conditions that apply to you getting this enrollment letter. First of all, your full deposit needs to be paid and all your documents need to be submitted. Once that's done, we can get you your enrollment letter. Guidance on blocked bank accounts. So if you're thinking of going to the Berlin campus, you know before you apply for your visa, you need to show proof or evidence of your blocked bank account. And we are happy to help you about the procedure of how you need to go about it. We won't set it up for you per se, but we will guide you with regards to the right route or the easiest route that you can take in order to set up your block bank account. Visa assistance, which we're very, very proud of talking about. Uh, it can be so overwhelming sometimes, especially when you come from different parts of the world. What is required of you as a student is different, the kind of documents. So we have checklists that we can provide for you based on the country that you're coming from. We can also tell you the nearest embassy based on where you are living right now. We can tell you the kind of visa appointments that are available on a day-to-day -day basis, up-to-date information with regards to what is available with regards to visa appointments. We are also happy to help you review the documents that you're going to be submitting, making sure everything is in place, we don't mind going through your educational documents, your CV, your cover letter, uh, your motivation letter, just to make sure everything is in place and so that you are ready for your visa interview. We also do visa interview prep, so we conduct mock uh, interviews, if you would like, tell you the kind of questions that they might ask. So use this opportunity for sure in order to make sure that you have everything in place before you go for your visa interview and we're more than happy to help you. With regards to accommodation, we can put you in touch with those who are on the BSBI campus to help you fit your needs based on what you want and where you want to live and who you want to live with and all of that. We're happy to help with that campus registration now it's online registrations but we uh help with that we can assist you with that just to make sure that you're doing everything in time so that you can start your classes on time you don't want to be one or two weeks late starting your classes so it's so important if you are ready right now those of you who are sitting here and you're listening to me and you've submitted your documents and you're thinking oh i'm really not sure do it is my recommendation. The earlier you do it, the faster and smoother everything will follow suit for the upcoming intake for you. And anything, any other issues related to starting a course with BSBI, we're more than happy to uh, assist you. I will be showing an email address at the end of my presentation. Please do write in if you want to get in touch with one of us or even me, you have a question for me or with regards to any of this assistance, I'm more than happy to get one of my team members to get in touch with you and help you through the process, okay? I also want to highlight the support that you will get after you join BSBI. And what I want to start off with is 
our career services, right? You can see on my screen what all we have. We have CV workshops and all of this, mind you, now because classes are online, are all happening online. So you will not be missing out on anything just because you're not on campus. So CV workshops, career guidance, interview coaching, there's job application support if you need help in filling out your applications, company visits once you get to Berlin, this will be available. We also have a job teaser, that's what it's called, a website, um, which I will be talking about in just a minute, and also lots of guest speaker events. I also did hear that there were online internships that were offered at one point. Amazing, right? So make, this is something that you can definitely, once you're registered, you're a student with us, this is all freely available to you. What Job Teaser is, it is a careers platform that we use for our students and companies like Amazon and Accenture and Google and IBM, all of them are aware of it, are on it. So these are opportunities for you to find jobs for yourself and get going so that through the years that you are studying with us at BSBI, you have that ability to put together this fantastic CV. So by the time you graduate, you have so much work experience that you can show and it will be unbelievable and very very impressive for anyone who's actually looking at it i also just want to highlight some of the other things that we help with uh, one is visa guidance and compliance which you definitely most definitely need when you get to berlin so whether it's about uh, your residence permit or your visa extensions or even looking at your document che checklist in order to do that and also your application process for your post-study work visa we help with all of that we also um, can uh, put you in touch with an immigration service that will help you through the entire process. We have an amazing accommodations department. I know that is working very, very closely with students. What I would recommend is that if you are going for the Feb March intake, that you're already in touch with the accommodations department to make sure because places are filling up really, really quickly, lots of students coming in make sure that you find a place that you're comfortable and safe in. So please do get in touch with our accommodations department. Uh, there's also student engagement and events, and I'm just gonna show that to you in a minute, but also pastoral care. And what I mean by that is some of us are leaving home for the first time, right? Leaving our families behind, moving or transitioning to a new country, it can be scary. I've done it as a very, very young student. Um, and I so I know what it takes to go to move from one country to another. And so there is support to help you through that process so that we can ensure that you're feeling safe, you're feeling um, a sense of belonging on campus. And we just definitely want to make sure that you transition well. Just coming to the student engagement and events, here are just two examples for you of uh, the kind of student engagements. BSBI is, uh, is a hustling or bustling, that's the word, uh, campus. It's full of life all the time. The student council is super active. They are always looking at doing new events or initiatives on campus. It's a really close-knit family kind of feeling that you have on BSBI campus. But these are some of the things that they do outside like meeting with Facebook or a project with Red Bull. So these are just two examples that I wanted to highlight but many more things like this pertaining to the course that you are studying are the kind of events that you can be involved in. All right, so really quickly, I just wanna talk about what you need to do right now, okay? So a few things that are very, very important for you to do right now. First of all, for those of you who are thinking of joining the Feb or the Feb March in, intake, um, what I need you to do if you haven't already is pay the full deposit. I know for some of you it might be a challenge, but once you do that, it really gets the ball rolling on so many other things that are made available for you, like the documents that you will need for your visas, example, for example, things like that. 
you also need to submit your documents, right? Whether it's your um, English proficiency or whether it's your college transcripts or your high school transcripts, all of that needs to be submitted as soon as possible so that we can help you get your enrollment letter, your letter of acceptance, because those are things that you need when you are applying for your visa. Now, I know there are restrictions for some of you because what's happening is that maybe you haven't graduated as of yet, you're looking at a master's program, you haven't finished your bachelor's, so you're waiting to hear back from your university. I understand that. But what I want you to do is give yourself a deadline or a timeline, right? By when you can submit these documents so that we can also be prepared and know and follow up with you to ensure that you are submitting all of these things. Open your block bank account, which is also a very important step, a mandatory step for you to do in order for you, especially if you're looking at going to Berlin, this would be important in order for you to do before you apply for your visa. So please go ahead and get the support that you need from your student support officer or from your program consultant so that they can help you get the ball rolling with regards to opening your block bank account. And lastly, apply for your visa. If you're having a problem finding out what kind of visa appointments are there, please get in touch with us. We will do whatever we can in order to support you, in order to see what's available and not. We cannot book them for you per se, but we can let you know so that you're ready in order to apply for or book in a visa appointment. The earlier you do it, the better, and I know around the world a lot of places are opening up with regards to having an opportunity for students to apply for german visas even for uh, athens and for paris and remember i talked about the visa services and the different ways in which that we can assist you well that is also holds good for Athens and Paris too, okay? It's not just for Berlin. If you require help and assistance with regards to applying for a visa for Athens and Paris, we're more than happy to help you. So these are four steps of what you need to be doing right now as a student. Extremely important that you go ahead and do these things. Um, if you have a challenge to do some of these things, let's talk about it right now so that you know I'm able to help you and we can find solutions of how you can go about and do this. So I just want to wrap it up before we've got a few minutes. I've got a few minutes before I can start to take some questions. Um, I just want to wrap it up for those of you who are actually just thinking about joining us. All right. First of all, an amazing opportunity. I've highlighted the reasons and the benefits of you going to a place like PSBI. Um, I have done various um, interviews with students who are on campus right now and also who are alumni and they've always talked about what a wonderful experience they have had. No doubt they've had their own set of challenges with regards to moving to a new country, learning a new language, but that's there anywhere around the world, right? But if you're looking at the kind of opportunity or the learning opportunity you'll have as a student, then BSBI is really, really good for you to be in Berlin, or start up in Athens or Paris and then move to Berlin and then graduate and continue to work and live in Germany. All right. So get in touch with your program consultant. If you want to kind of weigh out your options to see what would be best for you, I highly recommend that you get in touch with your program consultants. Um, the discounts that are available on the Hamburg campus, right, especially if you're looking for a course from UCA, uh, I did mention to you what the courses are, the BA Honours in Animation, the BA Honours in Graphic Design and Illustration. All right, so get in touch with your program consultant again to find out what these opportunities are like for you. Um, there's tremendous amount of support, even just the opportunity that we're able to meet like this and uh, have a time of question and answer. I think that's important in terms of support. You can write to us at info at berlinsbi.com. Uh, you can just say, hey, this is for Sangeeta or this is for student support or whoever it's for, and it will come to us. Don't worry. So make sure you're sending us your questions or your queries or your doubts, concerns, whatever you might have. 
uh, there is support available before you join and even after you join and we did talk about that and lastly if um, any of your steps with regards to your admissions is pending then make sure that they're completed i understand there are challenges that you might have i do empathize with you um, but please do understand that the earlier you do it the better for you and then if you're looking at the fab intake registrations are open we can help you get registered so that you're up and ready to start at the end of february all right so pay the full deposit submit your documents so that you're ready to apply for your visa i do recommend that you follow us on facebook and instagram and twitter all of the activities that we're doing right now on campus what students are doing are all out there and also upcoming events right where you might have an opportunity to get together we might be coming to your town for all you know right we would love for you to come and meet with us and actually have a face-to-face -face conversation not right now but hopefully in the next couple of months so do follow us and find out what's happening so that we can support you to the best of our ability to make this journey as smooth as possible for you all right so that is the end of my presentation what i'm going to do is really quickly uh first of all shops stop sharing my screen um and then i'm just going to really quickly start looking at the kind of questions that some of you might have put out um let me just really quickly look at the questions give me one minute okay yeah i see some questions here hi ikena you have asked i haven't applied for my visa yet because i haven't been called for an appointment by the embassy in nigeria how does that affect me uh you can start your classes online till you actually get your visa uh, but get in touch with us and we, we can definitely see how we can help you with regards to uh, your visa appointment if there's any way that we can speed it up for you uh, so definitely don't let it stop you from starting with us whichever intake you're looking at uh, Ikena it's important that you actually start with your education and then as visa appointments open or as the embassy gets in touch with you, then you can work on your visa and then get onto campus as soon as possible, okay? All right, hi Pavandeep, you said hi to me, but doesn't look like you have a question. When can I start? Hi Anna, uh, you're saying when can I start applying for 2023? Um, you can start, you can get in touch with a program consultant right now actually you don't need to be waiting just so that you know what you need to be um having in place before you apply but i'm just wondering why you want to wait till 2023 are you still studying or um is there a reason why you're waiting till 2023 i'm interested to know okay is there a sample for the recommendation letter that i send to my chosen person uh not necessarily there's not if there if you're going to be asking um a professor for a recommendation letter they should be used to actually writing recommendation letters okay uh basically they're just talking about really in a nutshell let me tell you anna what needs to be highlighted in a recommendation letter is that you are a good student especially if it's from someone from the academic background that you are a good student some of the skills or the strengths that you have in the classroom and they can maybe highlight uh, an anecdote or two of the experience that they've had with you as a student in their class okay so that's pretty much and whether they recommend you for the course or not basically that's what the, the recommendation letter needs to be about. Um, if you write in to me on info at berlinsbi.com, uh, just say, Sangeeta, just can you send me some pointers for recommendation letters? And I'll be happy to shoot up some pointers for you that you can send to whoever's writing your recommendation letters. Okay. Um, Shibli, hi. So what about job after MSc International Healthcare Management? 
So what I have understood, uh, Shibli, about these MSc or management courses, even though it says international healthcare, you don't need to feel like you're just restricted to uh, a profession in the healthcare field. Okay, doesn't mean that you only have to be working in a hospital or you know any of those kind of uh, like a clinic or any of those these kind of management courses will give you skills in order to work in any environment yes it might have some courses that specialize in healthcare but it will open up any kind of opportunities for you so what i would um, recommend for you is while you are studying that course in order for you to actually look at different types of internships um, or any kind of work experience that you can get while you are doing your masters so that by the time you graduate you have enough experience or you'll kind of figure out what would be the best fit for you okay i hope that makes sense um okay hi sana uh thank you for the nice and oh you're welcome anytime uh you have some questions regarding visa and accommodation uh you've read that the that we will be getting 30 percent discount on rent if we take the flat from a uni place so what's the process uh, for that okay so sana what i would recommend is that again if you shoot me an email or get in touch with your student support officer if you have one um is that we will give you the email address of the accommodations manager who's on campus okay and then she will be able to help you with this and the 30 percent discount and um how much it's valid and if it holds good all of that she will be able to tell you the most up-to-date information with regards to that um so just write in if you don't have the, I wish I had uh, Francis from the back end. If you have the accommodations email address, if you can put it down, that would be great. Um, otherwise, Sana, just shoot me an email and I'd be happy to help you with regards to that, okay? Uh, the second question is, I have prepared all my documents and my visa appointment is on the 7th, okay? But before that, I would like to review my documents with visa in order mm, I will get the visa. Absolutely, you should get in touch with me i okay you know what i'm going to write down your name and i will get someone to get in touch with you sana if you have a qid and if you can put it down for me that would make it much easier so just put it down again uh, maybe in the chat box or in question answer wherever you want and then i'll pick it up from there and get someone to get in touch with you tomorrow so that we can review your documents and get you ready for the 7th of feb okay um but thank you for the, your kind words i really appreciate it um hi neeraj you're saying is learning german really important for jobs after i complete my masters hmm sounds like a trick question i recommend and i think it would give you more points if you actually knew german right um, it would open up so much more I, I don't think anyone's asking you to speak german fluently even though i know a lot of students who didn't even know one word have become super fluent in german because that's how the environment is um, i do highly recommend and these classes are free neeraj why wouldn't you take them right so go ahead and learn german so that you're able to at least have some sort of communication with people when you go and start to work. I think that's so important to show on your CV that you've actually made the effort to learn German. Okay. Uh, Anna, oh, you wrote to me again. Um, the person I asked for to write my recommendation letter asked me if there's an example of this letter that can follow and write mine. See, you know, the problem with sending out samples for recommend uh, recommendation letters, Anna, let me be honest with you, is a lot of times, you know, a lot of what's in the sample is then put into yours. Uh, there's tons of recommendations online. If you look into Google and look at good recommendations, you'll also find bad. But if you look at a good recommendation letter, um, that's all they need. Hey, how about you work with me and then we can find some examples of recommendation letters that you can send off 
so that they actually have some that will be fantastic for you because it really needs to fit you and it needs to talk about you. And that's why I'm kind of not wanting to send a sample, but we can pull something out of the internet and we can send it off, okay? So make sure you send me an email so that I can then get your email address and keep in touch with you. Hi, Ekene. Um, what will be the consequences of not meeting up with the full deposit before the start of the Feb intake? If you don't, if you don't, if you don't pay the full deposit, then we're not able to give you any of your documents, which you will most likely need in order to apply for a visa or even start with us, right? If you don't pay, it depends how much you're able to pay. What I would suggest is talk to your program consultant, talk to them about your situation, or, or talk to your student support officer and see what can be done right and how soon you're able to pay because if you don't then we're not able to even register you for the classes so what we we are i know bsbi is super flexible right when it comes to so many different things when it comes to giving discounts to students when it comes to uh, putting together an installment plan we are and i know compared to other places we really really are flexible because we want it to be easy i don't want it to be a weight on your back when you're coming to study with us however something like a basic deposit is essential for you to get started um, otherwise we're not even sure about your commitment and i'm not saying that in a bad way but if it's a genuine genuine concern and a need then write into us and let's see what we can do about it okay aziz what is the payment plan okay so then there are different installment plans uh, that your student support officer or your program consultant can talk to you about it really depends on uh, what works for you best and how much you're able to pay so talk to them and work out a payment plan that works for you so that we can put that in place for you as soon as possible okay neha hi um without IELTS is a feasible without IELTS. So you need to have an English proficiency test. Uh, again, it depends on the program that you're looking at, uh, but most likely whether it's IELTS or whether it's TOEFL, whether it's Duolingo, uh, you need to be able to submit one of these for us. So again, uh, we need to know what background you're coming from. If you're asking for an exemption for IELTS, um i hardly doubt it because you're going to have to show it i think even when you apply for your visa so definitely again get in touch with us i need to know because it's it's too much of a general question for me um get in touch with us and then i can tell you what exactly is the english requirements that you need okay sana go for it uh, uh my classes will start on feb 28th can the university help me to faster my visa application, for sure. Uh, we've done that. Actually, um, my wonderful team leader for visa services has actually brought forward appointments for some students. We can request some embassies are very receptive to us writing in saying, hey, a student has it only next month, but can we move it forward? It hasn't happened all the time. It's not something that happens regularly but definitely worth taking a chance on. So Sana, again, you need to send me your QID so that we can help you through all of these, okay? And I will put you in touch with my team leader for student, uh, for visa services, and he'll be able to help you with all of your uh, queries, yes. Uh, Neha, let me get back to you about your MBA in IT management, all right? Uh, for sure. I'm going to write your name down. And again, Neha, if you can put down your uh, QID, then I can help you through it. And it's an MBA in IT management. Okay. All right. Um, so, Pavandi Pai. Uh, thank you for your question. How many specialization can we choose pursuing global MBA? Global MBA, 
according the my my knowledge and my understanding of a global global mba is that it is a general course you don't specialize at that point you can just do a global mba so it'll expose you to different courses and once you graduate then you can kind of decide what you want to specialize in or what field you actually want to get into which i definitely recommend in this day and age you would rather have experience in different types of courses or different types of fields and then finally decide at the end of your global mba so um, right now there is no specialization for the global mba is my understanding of it yeah i hope that made sense hi isaac you've left but what should i do what should i do i can uh, I think it's about visas. Isaac, we can get in touch with you and help you. Uh, please let us know how, um, or maybe I can look up your QID and get someone to get in touch with you. But we're happy to help you with regards to um, your visa, okay? Or just assist you with regards to the process. This is Neeraj, do you have in-house accommodation? No, we don't have accommodation on campus. Uh, however, we have accommodation that's close to the campus, so you'll be able to um, stay close by. It depends where you want to live and how much you can afford. So, Neeraj, get in touch with the accommodations manager who's on campus, and I would recommend that you do it as soon as possible because really accommodation or houses or apartments are filling up really quickly, so definitely do get in touch with them to see what would be best for you, okay? Uh, Santosh, how can I connect to a program instructor? I'm in, uh, instruct, uh, interested in joining BSBI for my master's in IBM for 2022. Great. Um, we will definitely get someone to get in touch with you, Santosh. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll receive a call tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to write your name down too and make sure that someone gets in touch with you so that they can give you more information about the course that you're interested in. And we hope to see you on campus really soon, Santosh. So thank you for that. Uh, uh, how, what's the chance to get PR after a master's degree? So like I said, you have your 18 month post study work visa. Most of our students get a job and then continue to live there as residents or I'm not sure what the visa is called but we will help you get that 18 month post-study work visa, which then hopefully in those 18 months, which is one and a half years, I'm sure someone as smart as you, Neha, will find a job in, you know, in less, way, way less than one and a half years. And then you can see how you can then change your visa into one that will allow you to kind of stay in Germany for as long as possible okay so i don't think it's called permanent residency it's not like how it works in canada it's a bit different but i'm sure that there are ways people can help you in order to do that okay sana thank you i got your qid so i'm just going to write it down really quickly and get someone to get i'll get my visa um officer to get in touch with you okay um kwaku i like your name um would like to know when the semester is going to start. So we have one starting at the end of February, Kwaku. So if you are interested, please do get in touch with us or I can get someone to call you so that we can get the ball rolling to help you register and submit your documents and make the payment, the initial payment, so that we can um, get you ready for classes at the end of Feb, yeah? Um, does BSBI have any assistance or partnership with companies to help students find an internship? Yes, uh, Helen, I did say and mention we have an extremely active um, career services and they are heavily, heavily involved and very, very keen to make sure that students have internship opportunities all the time, work opportunities, so 100% uh depending on what you're looking for and where you want to be working you can get in touch once you become a student with us you can get in touch with our career services they will not only help you find a job they will also help you be prepared to do a job right with regards to your visa your interview prep 
the whole nine yards we help you with all of it so you don't need to worry about that and absolutely yes we have many many uh internship opportunities um you're welcome anna anytime we're here to support you so don't worry okay um shibli this is something that you can ask the career services with regards to the kind of opportunities that you can have maybe like a part-time or maybe an internship something in order to give you that exposure while you're doing your masters i'm sure if we have a healthcare management we have internships or jobs that are pertaining to it so definitely uh, it's something that you need to look into or i can find out that information and bring it to you okay um i'm sure your email address is here with healthcare management if i don't write down i will forget so just bear with me people okay uh healthcare management in jobs all right got it okay kobena uh, you're done with your interview, congratulations, and also waiting for your visa approval, fingers crossed, from your German embassy. Uh, I really love this amazing institution and I can't wait to start. Oh, you just warmed my heart, Kobena. Now, you know what, I'm sending you lots and lots of good vibes that you hear back from uh, the embassy as soon as possible, because we want people like you on campus as soon as possible. So I really, really hope that you will be able to join, like you said, this amazing institution, and we can't wait for you to start with us too. But thank you so much for your kind words. That that's awesome thank you um hi daniel when uh the visa is not not available on time please okay daniel you need to be just let me know what you're trying to tell me if, are you telling me that if you don't get your visa on time what your option is your option is then to start online and then when you get your visa then you can come on the campus is that what you're asking me but we do have made the provision for students to start online. So don't worry, okay? Uh, how long will it take a number of days to get your visa after the, now Corbena, you're asking me many, many, you're asking me trick questions, okay? I'm really not sure, but you know, I, not, I don't wanna answer that question. Let me get that answer for you and I will answer it, okay? Because I'm sure there is a certain time frame. I want to say three to four weeks, but it could take longer because a lot of embassies are working with skeletal staff if they don't have all their staff uh you know working at the same time so it's taking a bit longer for embassies but they are rolling out they are rolling out visas so don't don't worry about it okay um hi daniel uh your intake is feb 28th but you're not sure if your visa will be available what are you supposed to do okay how about you get in touch with us and tell us get in touch with your student support officer give us some information about when you applied and where you applied so that you know we can see if we can find you know or follow up on your behalf okay but don't be agitated because i can sense it in your voice don't worry there's nothing that you can do right now if you've already applied we have to just patiently wait but the good news is you can start on online and then as soon as you get your visa get onto campus and when everything opens then you can be on campus and come study with us um hi aziz you need uh, someone to get in touch with you to help you through the process sure i will get someone to get in touch with you okay all right and Ekene, uh, thank you for your, okay, I love your presentation. I think all of you should be at all my webinars because you're a, such a wonderful bunch of people. You have made me feel so good today. Thank you. I appreciate that you have uh, enjoyed this presentation. Um, you are skeptical, skeptical about the appointment and application, okay? 
um, actually, yes, initially that's what was happening for Nigeria, Ekene, but now we've had so much success with students who are actually applying to Paris. We haven't had any students getting denied. I know these two students, I think I even spoke to some, is Blessin one of your friends? I think Blessing or Blessin, I think he was from there, who got denied. These were initial students who actually applied, um, but Right now, it's much, much better. We're getting students who are actually getting accepted. But I definitely want to look into your case because you've been so nice. And uh, I totally understand where you're coming from and you being a little hesitant about your friends uh, whose visas got rejected for France, but that was for France. Uh, I don't know if you're, looking at if you're looking at going to Paris or if you're looking at going to Germany, but I will look into your case a little bit more and get back to you. So don't, don't be afraid. Uh, maybe have a conversation with our visa specialist and then we can take a decision on you booking your appointment. Okay? Is that okay? All right, Daniel, you've given me your... Uh, okay. All right. I don't need to write it down because it's all going to be there. And I just want to basically just take a, a one or two more questions mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to close this. But thank you for being patient, everyone. Um, You've applied for your MSc IT management, unfortunately got a few pending documents. However, is it possible to join for the same course? Uh, I need to check if, Shubham, I need to check if the IT management course is going to be there in May. Yes, you can. I don't know what's pending and, uh, you know, if you can't get it before Feb or March, can you get it by March? You still then can join the Feb intake. So why don't you get in touch with me? Write to me on info at berlinsbi.com and then we can talk about it or get in touch with your student support officer saying you talk to me during the webinar and what we can do. Okay. Um, So, as a David, hi, as a student of BSBI, will we have offline classes with teachers? No, they're online classes. I'm not sure what you mean by offline. Um, you, they will be, are you talking about on-campus classes soon when things open up? Yes, you will be, but otherwise they're going to be online right now. Okay, I think that's what you asked, David, I'm sorry. I just heard myself and I sound, I, I don't know if I answered your question. Um, so, Anna, you can write into info at berlinsbi.com and I will pick it up from there. Just put Sangeeta, just put my name so that it comes to me, okay? Uh, Feb intake is online. We're starting online, okay? Daniel, don't be negative. If your visa is refused, then we will reapply. It's as easy as that. But there should be no reason for you to be, uh, for your for your visa to be refused. So let's be positive, all right? If you go through and get the assistance that you need, make sure all your documents are in place, you should be okay. And if have the right answers during your interview, you're going to be absolutely fine, all right? Uh, when will be the next webinar? Thanks, Daniel. Pretty soon. Trust me, it's going to come up really, really soon. Um, related to healthcare management, oh, Neeraj, thank you. Uh, you need to come to BSBI, not because of me, but because of the course that you're going to be studying, all right? Uh, we can definitely, that's what I'm going to look for you. And I'm going to tell you whether we have internships or jobs in healthcare management while we're studying. All right, you know what? I took all of your questions and I'm very, very proud of myself. Um, I know some of it wasn't that great, but definitely uh, some of my answers weren't that great, but I am going to come back to you with more concrete answers for some of you who've asked, I've taken down, I know I'm gonna get a copy of all of this too. I'm gonna close this session by saying thank you for being an amazing audience. I am hoping, first of all, to see you all on campus in February or at the end of February for the Feb intake. For those of you who are sitting on the fence, for those of you who are interested, we would love for you to come join us, all right? Um, and we really, really look forward to seeing all of you.
please follow us on Facebook and Insta uh, and Twitter so that you know when the next webinar is. It's on our website too, so that you can come join us. Please feel free to write into info if you have any questions. We're more than happy to take it. Um, and I look forward to seeing all of you and speaking to all of you really, really soon. Thank you once again for being an amazing audience and I will see you soon. Have a great, great day and um, good luck, stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye.